Sherwin here from Sherwin Ventures and I would like to answer the Q&A portion of Grandma as part of the project and here it is, please stay tuned. Thank you. <coughs> Welcome to Lola Bassiang's reality talk show. <coughs> Influence you to wake up, Brad. <laughs> when my friends from Dubai, actually they, they worked with me before, encouraged me to uh, also apply for a bro for me to earn like higher like, times three salary from the rate in Cebu or times four. So that point gives me an idea to um, apply and you know work <coughs> what are the reasons why you choose to work abroad first reason for that is so the salary compensation from the company because it's hard to reach your goals you will just only have a low compensation so you will just uh, finish all your earnings from the cost of living especially in the rental city you have to pay bills for the um, current and water bills <laughs> what are the challenges you've encountered there in abroad? One of the challenges is the homesickness. You know, sometimes I cried. I cried at my room alone. You know, remembering um, the happy moments that I have in our home. So remembering the, you know, the happy moments together with the loved ones. So for that guys, it's really a huge challenge to take. <coughs> it, it's easy to be there in abroad while you're far from your family. Actually working in abroad is a really difficult decision to make. First of all, you will lose the presence of your family, your loved ones, and for that, you will feel ill emotionally. And also, you are in the Gulf countries, so you cannot practice here um, most of the time, um, worshiping God. And you will also be ill spiritually. <coughs> How did you adapt the culture in the particular place that you're working now? Um, for their culture, you can easily adapt it through abiding their laws of the country. And before you're going in a particular country or destination, you will have a seminar, the so-called PDOS or PDOS certificate before you will leave the country. And for that, um, the first you have to do is to research, search for their customs and cultures, how the way of living, Aside from that, when you are already in the country, you have to execute the learnings you've gone through. So you will just you know, abide the law and then you'll be safe. 